From the editors of Biological Psychiatry and the Society of Biological Psychiatry, this is Biological Psychiatry Live, and I am the social media editor, Dr. Tamara Gore, and I have Dr. Jennifer Ames and Dr. Chris Eaton with me today. Could you please introduce yourselves? Sure. Um, I'm uh, Jen Ames, and I'm a staff scientist at the Division of Research um, at Kaiser Permanente, Northern California, and I'm mentored by Dr. Lisa Crowen, um, who is the senior author on this paper. And I'm Chris Eaton. I'm an adult psychiatrist at Kaiser San Francisco with a uh, special interest in perinatal psychiatry. Wonderful. Thank you both so much for taking time out of your days to talk with me. If we could start, I'd love to know um, what was previously known prior to your study about SSRI use, it's, um, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor use in pregnancy and neurodevelopmental disorders? Yeah, um, so earlier re uh, research had, had found an association between um, SSRI use during pregnancy and autism spectrum disorder um, in offspring, but uh, those relationships were often attenuated or disappeared after accounting for the mother's psychiatric condition, um, suggesting that the SSRI relationship was not causal. Mm -hmm. um, however, it has been challenging for studies which are all um, observational to adequately address this confounding by indication. And um, the inconsistent findings in the literature have continued to fuel these lingering concerns about the risk uh, of SSRIs during pregnancy. Um, so it, it remains this important question to unpack um, so that pregnant people and their providers have clarity when they're weighing the risk of medication against the risks that are posed by uh, mental health problems, untreated mental health problems. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you as a perinatal psychiatrist myself, that's often the biggest challenge within the office is really helping a patient weigh those uh, risks and benefits. So could you help me understand how your methodology addressed this issue or the gap in our understanding? Yeah, so uh, there are several features of our study that add um, like analytical rigor to the evidence base. Um, on our understanding of this relationship and go beyond what has been possible with the studies in national registry data. Mm -hmm. So uh, first off, um, this analysis used data from the CDC sponsored um, study to explore early development, the SEED study. Mm -hmm. And this is a multi-site case control study of autism and other developmental delays and disorders um, in six sites around the country, including um, in Northern California. And this is one of the largest ongoing studies of autism in the United States. And the sample is notable for its geographic and sociodemographic diversity. Mm -hmm. um, and all the children in the study underwent an in-person standardized assessment to validate their diagnoses of autism. Um, and the study is also unique in that it used both self-report and medical records um, to obtain really detailed data on a wide variety of maternal psychiatric conditions um, and SSRI use during preconception and pregnancy. Um, I also want to point out that because of this rich data, we were able to conduct secondary analyses of autism with co-occurring intellectual disability, um, developmental regression, autism symptom severity, um, and also you know, families with and without another autistic child. Mm -hmm. um, we also had a group of children with other developmental delays and disorders, but not autism. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we tried to address the confounding by indication um, in the study by looking at autism risk associated with SSRIs in a subset of women who all had psychiatric conditions mm -hmm. um, during pregnancy. And so we were, we were able to better isolate the SSRI um, effect. And what was your main finding? Yeah, so our main finding, um, well, mothers with psychiatric conditions had about a 1.6 to two times um, higher risk of having a child with autism than mothers without psychiatric conditions. Um, but when we looked among mothers with psychiatric conditions, we did not see an association between uh, use of SSRI um, antidepressants before or during the pregnancy and risk of autism in their children. So this is reassuring. Mm -hmm. And what information do you feel your study provides clinically? I'd be happy to jump in there. Um, this is an extremely important study for us. Um, really, in the last 10 years since this uh, what came on the scene with Lisa Crowen's paper in 2011, that has been the autism question has been the sort of burning question mm -hmm. when it comes to sitting with 
uh, women contemplating uh, whether or not they're going to stay on their SSRI during pregnancy or take an SSRI during pregnancy. Um, prior to that, there were questions about uh, PPHN and uh, birth defects, which were pretty much put to rest. Yes. And then came this question, which has been the sort of one lingering uh, question that, that has really uh, made it difficult uh, for women uh, contemplating continuing their SSRI. So this addition and further clarification uh, indicating or um, supporting confounding by indication um, is extremely important. And uh, I'm just so happy that, uh, that Jen has done this study uh, and um, I think it's gonna have a, a very important, a big impact. I couldn't agree with, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, Jen, what do you hypothesize connects maternal psychiatric uh, conditions with increased risk of neurodevelopmental disorders? I have my own hypotheses, but I'd love to hear yours. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think one, one thing that we're thinking about is the connection between the psychiatric conditions and, and autism um, may be related to genetic factors that are common between these different conditions. Um, there is growing research that supports the genetic overlap um, and we, we have data in seed, um, maternal and fetal genetic data. Um, so this is the next step to the research is to kind of unpack that a bit. That's um, good to that. And, you know, I think it's interesting that the relationship between psychiatric conditions and autism um, persisted even among mothers who are taking SSRIs to manage um, their symptoms during pregnancy. So uh, it'll definitely take more research to understand this, but this is also potentially suggesting that the relationship between the neurodevelopmental conditions and the mom's psychiatric condition is not being driven um, wholly by psychiatric symptoms or condition severity during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think there are certainly other lines, you know, inflammation during pregnancy, mm -hmm. all those sorts of things that could be really interesting to follow up with. Yeah, and I think we can all three of us agree that it's just really important to support pregnant women um, and uh, postpartum women, all women. Um, and I think your study is going to help Dr. Eaton and I do just that. So I really appreciate um, you taking the time to tell us all about it and um, for your time today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Thanks My for having pleasure. us.